with a big field of two-year-olds, a short run to the turn, and a short stretch, there will definitely be major ground loss in a juvenile. Most of the early speed comes from one born, which will complicate things. Barroso moved forward a bunch when stretched out in the second start, and a bunch more in his last, to a figure that gives him a look here. It's tough to know what he'll do now, but he hasn't had much time to recover. Fletcher ran command performance in Champagne as a maiden, and once we adjusted for his wide trip, he earned almost the same figure as the winner. Okay, here it is. Pletcher has been awful in those races, most, with most of his starters running X's. But you know what that lonely new top was? He got Vino Rosa to run a negative six the last time the Breeders' Cup was in California. This is another tricky call in another tricky race. And you know what? Baffert hasn't had such great results either, even though he's stable out here. In this case, he has the fastest horse going into the race. Corniche ran huge sprinting in his debut, then won a grade one around two turns while running considerably slower. This one we are neither excited about betting on or betting against. Double Thunder has the kind of developmental pattern that often leads to a big three-year-old campaign. And if this race was on the East Coast, he would be a defensible long shot key. But it's not. It's Pletcher in California. So. And while we're on the subject, as good as Chad has been in the grass races, that's how bad he's been on dirt. Except the one new top came when he won this same race at the same track with, with good magic a few years ago. This year, Chad has Jack Christopher who comes in also making his third start with a similar pattern and strong figures. So, which do you want to pay attention to? The long-term pattern or the short-term pattern? Papa Cap is like Double Thunder in that he has the classic late two-year-old development with the top coming around two turns and concealed by a three-wide trip while Corniche saved ground on the lead. Cassie has horses all over the continent. But interestingly, he has kept this one in California. This colt is not as fast as some others going in, but he's likely to run well, and he will be a big prize. Pinehurst is Baffert's other one, and he's something of a forgotten horse. He hasn't run since Labor Day, but he's been working steadily. Making his third start and stretching out, this one starts out slower than several, but is likely to run a new top, making him yet another contender. It's worth remembering that the last time they ran a juvenile in California, the favorites were terrible, stormed the court one, and California-based horses ran one, two, three at boxcar prices. We're not brave enough to say all the fast, short price horses won't fire, but we don't want to have to rely on any of them. We would rather find a horse we do think will run well at a price and try to get him to the exotics. Papa Cap fits nicely for that role. But what this race is really good for is gathering information. Eastern Chippers, multiple Bafferts and Pletchers, a Chad Dirt Horse. We should know more coming out of this race than going in.